Welcome to the 13th video in the Excel for Stock Market series, where we publish 30 different Excel templates and talk about them in 30 different videos in 30 days. In today's video, we're going to talk about a moving average triple crossover strategy or um, indicator that this template will help automatically calculate for us. So in the previous video, we talked about exponential moving average and that template calculated the exponential moving average for a certain length uh, or the number of days and it will plot the chart on for us. It'll show the price, it'll show the um, exponential moving average line as well. And we can see when it crosses over and all that. One of the um, criticisms from there is like, okay, maybe there are multiple ways to do the exponential moving average. Like you can have a fast moving average, you can have a medium, you can have a slow. Uh, fast here means that the length is short, which means that it can react fast to the price changes. If you have a 100 period or a 200 period exponential moving average, it won't change immediately within a one or two periods because it, it uses a longer history. So for it to change completely direction or pike or so, then it will take a longer time. So that's why it's called a slow moving average. So people may say, okay, one of the approaches could be take a combination of these. So have a fast moving average, medium moving average, slow, and see when the lines cross over each other. In this template, what I've done here is to allow you to create your own uh, combination of three different moving average lengths and then they get plotted on the chart. So what we see here is dashed blue line is the price indicator or the price line here, closing price. And then the orange is the fast moving average or fast EMA. And the fast, I've, I've put five periods. So it takes into account five periods um, and then determines the um, exponential moving average. And then the medium is the little bit darker blue line, which is the which is I've used as a 20 period moving average. And then the slow one is the yellowish line at the bottom, which is a slow moving, which means it's a 100 period uh, moving average. So we have the fast, medium, slow, and you can see how they are different because the fast one is, is closer to the price. So it is not very different from the price trend itself. It hugs the price line, whereas the blue medium it's a little bit far away and then the slow one you can see that it's it doesn't change that easily it you know it does change but it takes a lot of history to push it um, in one direction or the other so now the strategy that i've read in the book and in other places is that people look at when the the slow moving average might cross over you know the fast or the medium may go over the fast or the opposite so the strategy can be determined based on when these lines cross over in a certain pattern or a certain way then that is your signal so again in this template i didn't want to make it more complicated and come up with all those different possibilities and give you trading signals but instead i've given the the three options for you to choose the fast medium slow and you can type in any number. So if I want the slow to be 50 instead of, um, you know, 100, I can just type it in. That's how you can change it. If I want the medium to be 25 or 10, let's say 10, I change it and you saw that the line changes. So you can do that and create your own combination. That's the purpose of the template. And if you, um, in order to just pull the data for another symbol, I'm just gonna go ahead and type Tesla. And now you should see that we have the data for Tesla. And this is looking at three month history. And I may want to do six month or even one year. So you can, you can change the time period that you're displaying. And I can also change whether I want to do weekly or daily or monthly. So I do weekly and now I see a data point every week. So this is how you can customize the template and um, for your analysis of the stock, keeping in mind that this is a three um, different exponential moving average lines are drawn. Okay, so this is how you can use this template to create three different exponential moving average lines for any stock and customize it with this interactive template. That's the end of today's video. We will talk about another technical indicator in tomorrow's video. If you have not watched our previous videos, please go back and watch that in the playlist. We'll put the link in the description below. And also, if you have not subscribed, please do so now. If you like the content, please 
share with your friends. If you think um, there are any topics that I should be covering in this series, please post your feedback in the description below. I'm continuing to look for ideas as to what information in this space will actually be useful for the audience. Since I'm not an active trader, um, I do have this book, which I'm you know reading and uh, using it to determine what technical indicators they talk about and I'll be covering them. But if you have a specific idea or a suggestion, I really would love to hear from you. So please post it in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as we can. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thank you very much for watching.